Welcome to day two of the Month Machine 2013 from the DJPodcast.com. Today's video will focus on Machine's classic drum machine emulation options. Right now I have a new project open with no sounds in any of the sound slots in Group A. What I'm going to do is go ahead and load this open hi-hat sound into one of my sound slots. I'm already in browse mode, I've already got what I want, so I'm just going to go ahead and press button 8 and that's going to load that sound into the sound slot that I've selected. Then I'm going to go ahead and exit the browse mode. Now whenever you add a sound into one of the sound slots in Machine, you'll see that it adds a sampler. So I'm going to access that by going to the module section, and then you'll see that the first one there is sampler. The sampler gives you a whole bunch of different options that will adjust how each sample actually sounds when you play it. And the one that we're going to be focusing on today is on the very first page of the sampler options, and that is the engine. By default, the engine option is set to standard, but using knob 5 here, we can go ahead and change it from standard to vintage. One thing that you'll notice is that the names are a little different. So in Machine, the SP1200 is simply referred to as S1200, and if you use knob 6 here, you'll see that the MPC60 is referred to as MP60. With one of the vintage engines enabled, you'll notice a difference in how the samples sound. The effect is more noticeable on some samples as compared to others, and it's particularly prevalent when you pitch a sample up or down. So now let's take a listen to how that hi-hat sounds normally on the standard engine. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and change from standard to vintage, and we'll go with the S1200 option. Sounds a little bit different, not too much. Then we'll go with the MP60 option. Very similar, but a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and set the mode back to standard, and then I'm going to press this arrow button here to go to the second page of options. On this page, I'm going to use knob 1 and just adjust the pitch a little bit so it's down about minus 3. Then I'm going to go back to the first page where we have the engine options. So now let's listen to that hi-hat again. Then I'm going to go ahead and change the mode to vintage, and we'll start with MP60. In that example, you can really hear that there's a big difference between the two. We're going to go then to the S1200 option. There's an even more noticeable difference between that and the standard option. So I'm going to once again play the 1200, and we'll go back to standard. Really quite different. One thing that you'll notice is that on the S1200 setting, there is an additional option that is not available on the MP60 or standard engine settings, and that is a filter. We'll be using knob 7 here to adjust it, and it has four additional settings beyond the default state of none. So if you go ahead and browse through these, you have low, low mid, high mid, and high. You can of course use this filter to adjust the sound even more, depending on what type of sound you have loaded in that sample slot. Playing around with the vintage engine settings can not only be used to get that old school hip hop sound, but will also change the way that the stock library samples sound. Remember that each sound's sampler engine settings can be changed independently of another, so you can go ahead and mix between old school and new school drum sounds in the same kit. 